People get ready. What's up, everybody? This is Lester, and we're going behind the script of the film Levitical Rise. In our second episode, we talked with Rodney Coe, the writer of the film Levitical Rise, and we asked him what inspired him to write some of the things that he wrote or to develop some of the characters that he wrote in the film. He made this statement, and I absolutely love this. He said, I used a lot of my own personal experiences and deposited those personal experiences into the lives of the characters in the film Levitical Rise. I love this, ladies and gentlemen, because whether you realize it or not, even even if you're going to see a fictional film at the movies, you are gonna see real life elements within that film. Why? Because most of the time the writers will use real life circumstances, politically, socially, physically, to deposit into their characters for what you see on the screen. And so we've done the same thing with the exception of this. We're using discipleship principles depositing discipleship principles into the characters so that you and I get an understanding of who we're meant to be as spiritual sons and daughters through the film Levitical Rise. Now I want to visit a line from one of our characters in the second act of our film, Maggie, who's one of our main characters in the film, makes this statement. She says, my mom worked as a waitress and she wasn't always looking for Mr. Wright she was looking for Mr. Right Now. I love that line because it's edgy and it's juicy and it's spicy <laughs> and it's all things out there. But what I really love about it is that, ladies and gentlemen, it defines a lot about who we are today, man. We're always getting ahead of God. We're always trying to get something right now. We really don't know what it means to just be patient, to wait upon the Lord, as Isaiah says. Why? He says, wait upon me, and you shall be renewed in your strength. You shall run and not grow weary. You shall walk and not faint. Ladies and gentlemen, there is great benefit in the waiting. And so I love how Maggie says, look, at the end of the day, my mom wasn't looking for Mr. Right. She was looking for Mr. Right now. Because when it comes down to it, ladies and gentlemen, we are all about gratifying us. And so take courage today. Take courage today, man. If you feel like something in your life, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, economically, hasn't happened yet, wait upon God. Because if God has spoken it, it's bound to happen in Him. I love you. God bless you. Again, we're on the script with Levitical Rise.